Hello and welcome back to another We Are Sunland video coming to you from Alicante, sunny Alicante. It's very hot outside, um, so I've taken some shelter in my hotel uh, room. Um, so I apologise if the lighting isn't particularly great, but you're not here for the lighting. Um, you're here for a little bit of insight into the Black Cats tour. Um, last night, they played out a 1-1 draw with Premier League side Nottingham Forest. Jack Clark with a goal from the penalty spot um, before Omar Richards levelled things up. Um, not long after the restart um, in the second half. Um, we'll get straight into things, shall we? We'll start with the game last night. I think, interestingly, if you look at the side that Regis Labrie uh, put out, um, you know, there's, there's consensus, or at least general consensus, that that is, or at this stage, given injuries, you know, where, where certain players are at with fitness, Alan Brown won, um, to name drop in there, that that, that is, you know, the strongest side he could have put out at this stage. Um, and that's, I'll run you through that quickly. So it was Anthony Patterson in goal, right back Trey Hume, Lugo Nine and Aji Elise as centre half, Stenis Sirkin as left back, Dan Neal playing slightly deeper again um, in that number six role that we saw him accustomed to last season. Chris Rigg um, in a central role again. Um, I'll get on to him shortly because I thought he was excellent yet again. Um, Joe Bellingham also in a central uh, midfield role, Jack Clark, Patrick Roberts on either side and Eliza Mayenda up front. Um, and I'll start with Mayenda because he's someone who's taken me by surprise if I'm being completely honest. Um, I've said on a number of videos and um, podcasts that we did last week that I thought he was a real bright spark against South Shields and obviously there's the caveat that it's pre-season. We saw Luis Hamir Zamedo, you know, he, he looked okay last pre-season, didn't quite work out for him as the season went on um, but I thought Mayenda was a real bright spark against South Shields could he do it um, against better opposition um, the answer is yes um, he looked really impressive he certainly looks um, you know to have improved quite a bit I know he had the pre the, the loan spell sorry with with Hibs last year um, it looked a strange one given that he didn't have much uh, many minutes um, but he's come back you know his, his ability to hold the ball up was good a willing runner in behind, um, it pressed really well um, on the press. Um, it's something that I spoke about in the, the talking points that I've done over on We Are Sunland. If you haven't yet, head over there and, and subscribe. Um, we were accustomed to seeing Sunland in a high press and they've got the players for it. Obviously, the weather played its part yesterday, 30 degree heat. There was a lot more um, cohesion, um, I thought, from Sunland um, when to go and press. Um, they allowed Forrest to have the ball up to the halfway um, line. And Labrie, apologies if you can hear that motorbike revving past. Um, when Labrie came in in one of his first press conferences, he said he likes a 4-3-3 in possession, a 4-4-2 out of possession. We saw that again last night. We saw it in both friendlies um, against South Shields and Gateshead. Gateshead slightly different with Job dropping um, onto one of Gateshead's holding midfielders. But last night, um, it's very much a 4-4-2 out of possession. I thought it was a really good exercise against you know two strong Forest sides. Nuno Espirito Santo um, changed his entire eleven at half time, um, which impacted the flow of the game. I think it's fair to say. Um, Sunderland had to weather a bit of a storm at the start of the first half as they got to grips with with Forest. Um, same again in the second half after the restart. But once Sunderland found their feet, um, they limited um, the Premier League side to, to very little. If I'm being completely honest, Patterson had two saves to make right at the death um, you know to, to ensure a draw but Sunderland looked really good they looked really compact really organised and I was really impressed I think one notable difference um, this season or at least in pre-season anyway is there's a lot more cohesion players seem to know what they're doing and again I'm not getting too carried away I know only in pre-season um, but you can tell that those ideas that how Labrie wants to play He's got those across at least early doors in the first few weeks of, of pre season. You know, the the, the identity and, and what he wants that'll only grow from strength to strength with each passing training session, each passing game. Um but yeah, I was I was left really impressed, particularly with the transition. Um as I said there, they, they sat um off Forest a bit but pressed at the right times. I think if you look at the goal, um, the opening goal, um Mayenda again springs a good press on the edge of um Forrest's box. Pretty similar to what we saw from him at South Shields when he set Chris Rigg up for that goal there. Um, again, the two sort of combined again. Uh, Rigg won, a, won the penalty. Um, 
you know, after a bit of a lazy foul from Murillo, um, scrambling back, uh, Rigged skipped past him, um, Clark converting from the spot. But yeah, the, the transition and the speed at which they, they knock the ball around at the back, there's a there's a real there's some real nice patterns of play out in wide areas. Patrick Roberts, Trey Hume, Dennis Serkin, Jack Clark. You can see little patterns of one drops in, one will stay wide, or vice versa, one will come inside. Um, you'll have a, a, a centre half pushing up into midfield and, and accommodating and uh, taking space away, um, creating space for a full back to come looking for the ball, creating space out wide. Um, there's, there's, uh, like I say, I was left really impressed. There's some positive signs. Again, I'm not getting too carried away, but you look at the standard of the opposition, Forrest f fielded two strong um, sides. There was um, one or two um, players missing, three to be precise. I think Hamir. Um, Alan Brown and Jamie Tetty, they were out um, doing a little bit of fitness work. They were involved in the warm up, etc. Um, but they're on their own individual sort of sort of plan. Um, we'll wait and see to see whether they're involved with Aldense tomorrow. Um, Brown spoke with us earlier in the week again, and I was left really impressed. Um, we've spoken about the, the need for experience uh, to be added to this Sunderland squad this summer. Um, he's got a steely resilience. Um, he spoke about respect working both ways. He's the, the, the conversations that he's had between himself and the club before joining about bringing that little bit of experience, um, bringing that nous to see out games. He said he's not afraid to to stick it on players when when you know when they're not performing as they should. Respect something that works both ways. But I was left really impressed by him. Um, we'll see it how it is. Um, I was left, like I say, a real positive impression. Um, and the midfield dynamics going to be interesting because, as I say there, I thought Chris Rigg was was excellent. Um, Brown says he's not afraid, um, or he let, quite enjoys, sorry, playing uh, as a holding midfielder. So Dan Neal played there last night. We'll see what sort of role um, that what sort of you know that entails for Dan Neal. Um, with Brown, will Brown play deep or will he play as one of those eights? Um, Adil Shisha I thought was impressive again. Shields came off the bench and again, you know, looked to make things happen. But there's there's plenty of options there for Sunderland um, heading into this season. A little bit on the boardroom and, and transfers. Um, Kira Louis Dreyfus and Juan Satori, the, the owners, are, are out here in Alicante, as is Christian Speakman, Kirill's brother, uh, Maurice, who's also on the board. Um, there was a board meeting yesterday before the friendly with um, Nottingham Forest. Um, you can read a little bit more about that over on We Are Sunderland, um, along with some transfer news. Um, Alexander Mendy, somebody who was linked with the club uh, yesterday. Um, it's our understanding that while he remains a player that Sunderland are um, interested in, um, contrary to the reports that you know were saying that he'd made Sunderland his choice. Okay, that's encouraging news, um, but the there's no deal imminent yet for him. Could still happen. Um, but it's not something that um, is imminent. Um, we're about to head to Sunderland's um, a little behind the scenes um, open training session later today. Um, so I'll bring you a little bit of insight from that over on our TikToks um, and on social media. Um, and we'll get a little bit of a preview into the team news uh, for El Dent. It'll be interesting to see um, how many changes Regis Labrie makes. Um, he made the majority of them around the hour, 60, 70 minute mark um, yesterday against Forrest. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me for this, this quick update. Um, make sure you check out our social media channels and we'll bring you all the latest news coming from Alicante and transfer news, um, everything to do with Sunderland. Thanks for joining me.